I chose to do my educational giant project on Joan Harnich Pestalozzi. He was born in Zurich, January 12, 1946. Um, shortly after his, his birth, his father passed away and he was raised in poverty. He um, always wanted to make a difference in the underprivileged children's lives and he fought for those rights. He entered into, the, into a ministry, um, but because of his previous studies at the University of Zurich, uh, he studied uh, theology and he couldn't um, continue his ministry uh, training. He then tried law and politics, um, but he wasn't treated well. So then he moved to a farm in Switzerland and he began to improve poverty by developing be better methods to use in agriculture. Um, he realized that he had a passion for teaching, and with this profession, he could, fill, could fulfill his dreams of helping society. He, um, he wanted to help society by helping the individual to help himself. He turned, to, he turned his farm into an orphanage and began to try his theories on teaching the children. He wrote a book called The Hours of the Hermit, the Hermit, which was a series of sad uh, maximas portraying his life in the view of the world that he when he failed the farm. Um, with this, he became famous, and he overtook running an orphanage in 1798. Um, th shortly after, he became, be began running a boarding school for boys in Bergdorf. He then, in 1801, published a, a book called um, How Gertrude Teaches Her Children. In this, he describes an educational system, his philosophy, philosophy of education. Here, he describes how he wants, um, he wants children to learn by doing. And here, he wants children to have a hands-on experience and observe, and not just by, by reading through books and but he wants the children to get involved and do those things. Um, with the book, there be, there came a lot of fame, and with the fame, he um, he let it go to his head a little too much. And the school started getting lots of visitors, and it changed the environment of the school. And the school closed, and then he died in 1827. Um, but the, his philosophy of teaching still lives on. And um, we could not have done what uh, taught how we teach now without his methods, because in science class, we study the chemical bonds and we get to experiment with them. And when we do book reports, we get to, to um, draw a picture describing what we learned, and this is exactly what he did. It was his, um, through his method and his philosophy that we get to do that. Um, he believed that children should be free to pursue their own interests and draw, draw their own conclusions. And he wanted to, to um, encourage the students to think for themselves and to do what made them happy and not what people told them to do. He said, I wish to wrest education from the outworn order of doddering old teaching hacks as well as from the newfangled order of cheap architect arch artificial teaching tricks and entrust it in the internal powers of nature herself to the light which god has kindled and kept alive in the hearts and fathers and mothers to the interest of parents who desire their children to grow up in favor with god and with men and this just talks about how he um he wants children to to be able to do what they love and be able to choose what they do but they, he wants them to be able to have the experience before they choose their, their career. Um, thank you for watching. Bye.